Hey Doomers, top of the morning to you. It's October 1st. If you couldn't tell, I soundproof the windows, so now it is officially a wizard's cave or lair where I'll be addressing the news and just generally chilling this winter, trying to stay warm. Few articles I came across in the past 48 hours I felt like bringing to your attention to show how dysfunctional the system is, as if you didn't know already. This from Wired, sweat is helping you survive climate change. The subhead is, it's gross, it's sticky. Here's the science of how it's already saved your life. Many of you already know this information, but it's great to read Kate Yoder rehash the information all over again in this Wired piece, which you can read yourself. Where we aren't turning this freight train around, I agree. You should accept that our predicament entails that we are doomed. I don't even need to step outside and go show you because you can do that yourself. We aren't turning these engines off. Asia's, Asia's coal sector sees long prosperous life despite energy transition. This article is blocked from routers, but I can just read a little bit. Asia's coal sector has gone from thinking they are in terminal decline as the world shifts to a net zero carbon future to see themselves as part of the energy mix for decades to come because they think we have decades left while raking in profits. More on profits in a moment. The bullish narrative was on full display at an industry's biggest gathering of schmoozing at the Coal Trans Asia Conference at an Indonesian resort island of Bali while you were paying $5 for eggs. What has changed for the coal industry is that they no longer believe that renewable energies can be deployed fast enough so they're realists, cheaply enough, or at a sufficient scale to push fossil fuels out of Asia's energy mix. Whoosh. Okay, let's move on. You want a job? You want to try to go to that Bali conference and eat hors d'oeuvres? Maybe not. Maybe you need a job. Yes. A sickly, boring job. What are the most sought-after entry-level jobs from visual capitalists? Zoom in here. Positions that you really aren't interested in, right? Mental health case manager and deal with uh, schizophrenic patients and, you know, drug addicts all day. Uh, a retention specialist where you try to keep people, you know, on board with the product that you're selling. A design coordinator, a special events coordinator, which is really just a fancy title for a party host. Geotechnical engineer, lead generation specialist, tax preparer, quality auditor, network operations technician, patient access manager, yawn, boring, snore. Okay. Do you want to spend your last decade as a speech language pathologist, you know, helping people talk? Maybe, maybe that's your, you know, and develop, you know, that's a useful skill. I, I would maybe say that, but HR coordinator, lead generation specialist, loan processor. Do you wake up every day and think, gee, I'd like to be a loan processor today. I mean, the insanity, the insanity of it all. Ohio's minimum wage is set to increase. Sounds like a good title. Let's dig in a little bit. Non-tipped employees raises by 35 cents an hour. 35 cents. What does 35 cents buy you? Yeah, moment of silence, right. And if you receive tips, it's $5 to, to $5.25. But the federal minimum wage is $7.25 an hour. Yet the income for billionaires and the ruling class has skyrocketed thousands of percent percentage points. And you wonder why you see so many foreclosed businesses. How are people so supposed to pull up themselves from their bootstraps when federal minimum wage is $7 an hour and Ohio's minimum wage is raising to $10.45? It's so bad, it's laughable. Okay? In 2023, almost 2024, when rents are, in many cases, 7 nine hundred dollars in many to live in a safe place that isn't over 50 years old on top of all this if you have student loan debt i again apologize on the forefront that you made the critically stupid decision to go and sign your ass up for enormous amounts of debt okay i know so many people good people too in fact there's someone in particular who I'm thinking might watch this, and I don't mean this offense to you because you actually did have the intention, many did have the intention 
to go and be productive members of society. You know, everything's been turned on, on its head now. Jobs, HR, accounting manager. What does all this mean? What does all it mean, okay? Student loan payments are resuming in October. That's all sh short to say that, quote, I highly recommend finding a way, a way to avoid taking out loans, says this 38-year-old with 38000 in student loan. I know my brother's included in one of them. Subhead, when you're 17 or 18, you think, oh, I'll figure this out. And then it's frustrating to be still in this fit situation. So I'm just going to skip ahead. She has to spend $235 on her, was her car payment towards this. And she has to acquire another $270 that she'll have to earn. Okay, so like $500 a month. Justin Cole, 35 of Little Rock, says he doesn't know how he's going to come up with $166 a month. He'll start in October. He's been paying off $19,000 of loans 10 years ago. He says, quote, I'm already in a mountain of debt. While I just got a raise at work, it doesn't go into full effect until we start staffed. At, he works at a family practice clinic, front desk. Um, he says, if those were loans were forgiven, I can finally get, you know, Biden was talking about this. I could finally work on getting my credit up and actually saving money for once. Actually saving money for once and not being paid 10 or $11 an hour. If you don't think there's a revolution brewing or we're due for a mass societal breakdown, then you are delusional. Delusions. Furthermore, he says his major household expenses are rent, car payments, groceries, and utilities, same as everyone else, which is only going up and up. Continuing uh, credit card debt has topped $1 trillion. Cleland qualifies for public service loan forgiveness. Um, she's worked in the field for 10 years next March. She's hoping to put it in order. She has six payments to go, but it's still stressful. I have to find $500 a month to start putting away. Quote, I got... I had no financial guidance when I was younger from my own parents or from school. I didn't ever understand the long-term impact. So she has $38,000 original $10,000 loans and $40,000 for a master's. I knew I wanted to go to college. It was this whole brainwashing campaign to keep you integrated into the system to make the billionaires richer. Okay, does that not compute now? Do you not have, did college not teach you critical thinking? And before you go on, yes, I completed half of my associate's degree. I never got a full college education, at least a degree. But I took all of the prerequisites required for a journalism and anthropology degree. Thank goodness I did not go through with that. So yeah, I would much rather go to a random pizza shop, say thank you, turn, put it down in front of a door and get $20 for 25, 30 minutes of work. Yeah, I would much, much rather do that than be stressing and working as a uh, HR account executive or uh, electrical engineer eight, 10 hours a day, not being able to take care of my health. You know why I, I do this too? Because I look good, I feel good. You know, I take care of my health. My health is number one important. And when you're working 40, 50 hours a week, which was invented by some asshole over 100 years ago, less than 100 years ago, you don't get to take care of your health. Or at least it becomes very hard to keep up cost of living, all right? So that's been your flash briefing. A few news articles, there's so much more to cover. I realize, um, you know, we averted the government shutdown and someone pulled the fire alarm. <sighs> these, these engines just keep roaring, all right? Business as usual, we are in a predicament. Just get catch up to speed. I still haven't found my cat yet. It's been since Monday. It is now Sunday. The longest she's ever she's ever been gone for is two weeks, and she came back really skinny. But there's a lot of stray cats, and people leave out food food around here. So I'm thinking likely she. What I'm scared is she tried to leave. She tried to find her old home, and I realized that I fucked up because I didn't let her stay in the house. I should have let her meander around the house for at least two weeks she, so she gets acclimated and understands that this is her house. Now, instead, her in her one day before she kept looking outside and one, I could tell she wanted to escape. She wanted to go explore, whatever. So I let her out. So I'm kicking myself because I should have been more diligent as a cat owner if there's anything 
like that kept her indoors. So, because she was hands down the best cat. Yeah, the best cat I've ever had. Sweet, intelligent, didn't cause any problems, never peed on things, and just awesome. So, I'm hoping. And other than that, all I can do is hope. You know, I got to spend two years with her. Mm, hope she comes back. And... I intend on going to the rain, getting some range footage one more time. It's supposed to be like in the low 80s next week and fall. I know this is not uncommon. All over the world is experiencing uh, record warm October temperatures. Yeah, go to the range and get and It's like a cool range. You could put up like props, bottles, and it's like outdoors. There's barrels and long and short distances. Um, just sharpen my skills one more time for winter and uh, get some cool footage. Not like that's anything new. There's gun videos all over YouTube of guys just going out and shooting. So I know some of you guys appreciate that. I do appreciate you guys being a part of this community of journalism, reporting our predicament, and just having open eyes and clear vision on what's happening. Okay, I'm gonna go monk mode now. Work my tail off, it's Sunday. I'll talk to you kids soon. Doom kids. Meat sauce miracles. I'll see you in the next one.